Hey everyone, today I thought it would be fun to kind of edit just a single image. Sometimes you may not have the opportunity or ability to set up flash or set up an HDR shot or something like that. So I thought it would be good to kind of show how far you can push some of these raw files and also how much detail you can recover and highlights you can recover and things like that. So I think we'll try to push this image a little further than we normally would to try to get some of that detail back. But I'm gonna walk you through how I would edit this and kind of some of the steps that I would take. I actually did shoot an HDR bracket of this image so you can see the, the different um, exposures down here and we're just going to take that middle exposure so this is what the camera was saying was a perfect exposure the good news is as you can see there's the highlights in the body are still really good we have some good shadow detail here the sky is really good where we have some trouble is in the dark spots so the grill and the wheels have almost gone completely black. So we're gonna look at ways that we can fix that. So I think the first thing we wanna do is let's take care of the things that are the biggest issue. And I think right now it's, let's focus in on the wheels. They're the darkest and I think we're gonna need to push these quite a bit. So let's grab our radial gradient tool here and let's just draw out a shape that's very similar to the wheels here. Try to just get the wheel and not any of the surrounding body. And you can rotate it a little bit if you need to. Um, so what we wanna do is let's start with everything kind of zeroed out. Let's try and recover some of the shadows First of all, we wanna go down here and click Invert Mask. So that's done a pretty good job. I think we can also probably push that exposure up a little bit. And that's probably good to start with. So we can duplicate that. And let's take that duplicate copy, bring that over to the back wheel we'll just get that shape kind of the same size as the back wheel and with the back wheel being a little bit darker we might want to pull that up just a bit so let's click off of that and see what we did so i think that looks pretty good um one thing that's bothering me is the car seems tilted even though this cactus is pretty straight up I feel like the car is tilted, so I'm going to actually crop this down a little bit. I think that looks a little bit better. So then let's go in and let's do the same thing for the front of the car. Let's draw another shape here. And then let's... Let's grab our shadow slider, and again, it defaulted to inverted mask, so we want to click that button. So I think that looks pretty good. We got a little bit of detail back. Let's go to our graduated filter here. Let's pull it down on the sky. And then we're actually gonna darken this down a little bit. So let's pull that exposure down. Let's make it a little bit more blue. And then let's do a similar deal with the bottom here. Let's pull one up from the bottom. And we'll pull that exposure down. 
maybe we'll pull the saturation out of that. The next thing I want to do is brighten up the car a little bit. It still feels like it's one of the more darker things in the image. So let's go back to our radial gradient tool. And let's pull out a shape that's roughly the size of the car. Kind of get it right in the middle there. And then we'll go in here and we'll bump up our exposure. Again, we're inverted. Let's bump our exposure up. Maybe pull our highlights down a little bit and pull our shadows up. So overall, I think we're we're getting we're getting there. Um, let's go into the overall image adjustment now. I think we can probably still pull the shadows up some. I think we can probably pull the highlights back a little bit. Let's pull the blacks back some. Maybe give the car a little bit of clarity. I like a little more vibrance in my image. I like the greens and the blues to really pop. I think that really helps with the silver car too. And then down here, let's take care of some of this stuff really quickly. So let's go to sharpening. Let's pull our mask up. Again, if you hold down option, you can see what you're actually sharpening. Um, it's probably good to add a little bit of noise reduction at this time, just because we're pushing this image a little bit further than we normally would. We're probably introducing some noise. And so I think that's probably pretty good for a base edit. And honestly, for the most part, like I would be, I would be pretty happy with what we did here. But let's take it a step further. Let's go over into Photoshop and let's do a couple extra tweaks there. So we're going to right click here and we're going to go edit in, edit in Photoshop. Okay, so now that we're in Photoshop, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of our background layer. Just hit Command or Control J. And then we are going to go into Knit Collections, Color Effects, Pro 4. And we want to go over here to White Neutralizer. And we're going to click right on the top of the car. What that's going to do is that's going to help us get rid of any blue cast that's on the top of the car. So if you look before and after, it didn't change a lot. It warmed up the car a little bit. So I think that that's good. So we're going to go back into there. We're going to go into Knit Collections. We're going to go down to Silver Effects Pro. And we're going to come over here to this preset and we're going to go to High Structure Harsh. We're going to click OK. And we're going to change that from the normal blending mode down to luminosity. And that might be a little bit too harsh, so we're actually going to pull that opacity down just a little bit. I think the next thing we want to do is probably lighten up some of this stuff in here. So let's grab a curves layer. We're going to click in this middle point here, and we're just going to pull up a little bit. Maybe we'll add a second one down here. So if you think about this line, this is your midpoint colors. These are your highlights. These are your shadows. So by pulling this up, you're making your shadows less dark. If you pull this up, you're making your brights brighter. If you pull it down, you're making everything darker. So let's change that mask to black. So we'll, we'll click Command Delete. Now with our brush, the shortcut is B. We're going to go in, 
Let's make our brush a little bit bigger. You can use your left and right bracket keys to change the size. And we're just going to paint in here. Right along the bottom of the car to brighten some of this up. No, let's not do that on the grill. It's going to make it a little bit gray. But I think down here on the bottom, this will help it out quite a bit. And then let's make another one. This time we're going to pull this center point down. And again, we're going to command delete to make that a black layer mask. With the brush still selected, we're going to go in and we're going to paint some of this asphalt a little bit darker. And then we're going to get, we're going to switch our colors, make our brush a little bit smaller since we went over some of the car. we're good there. So now let's do a little bit of dodging and burning. So if we zoom in on the car a little bit, let's make a stamp visible layer. So command, option, shift, and E. That'll make a stamp visible. Basically what that does is everything below it, it's going to make a copy and make a merged file of that. Let's go over to here and let's grab our burn tool. So up here, we want to change this from midtones to shadows. Keep your exposure really low. And you want to make sure your hardness is down to zero because you want a nice, soft transition. And then you can treat this just like a brush. Bracket left and right will make um, it bigger and smaller. But now what we want to do is we want to just brush over the shadows. So down here, up here on the hood, this line on the hood, make the brush a little bit bigger, you can go through into this area. Um, we can probably do a little bit in here, down on the front of the grill. So then back out, it may not look like you were doing anything when you were brushing that, but if you click that layer on and off, you can see how some of those areas just get a little bit more defined, like this area here. So then, let's make that just a little bit bigger. Let's brush over this. We will brush over a little bit of the window. And then maybe this side. And now we want to go and grab our dodge tool. So same thing, let's only affect the highlights. Bring that down to really low, like 4%. We'll make this bigger. And now we're going to brush over the highlights. So just going around the car. You want to think about kind of the opposite areas of where you just painted the shadows. You want to kind of paint around those. So it's that light and dark difference that's going to make it pop. So before, after. So let's group all of those images together underneath. Let's check and see. So this is the difference that we've made in Photoshop so far. I think let's take this, let's make a copy, and let's pull that into Camera Raw. 
so we're still good with all of our settings. I think one more we can go through here. Let's pull up our exposure on the car just a little bit. Let's pull down the highlights. Maybe open the shadows just a little bit more. Maybe pump some warmth into that just a little. You can probably even give it a little bit of clarity. Let's click OK. So that was before and after. So one last thing, let's go ahead and sharpen this. So we'll hit Command J to make a new layer. Let's go up to Filter, click Other, High Pass, and then we're gonna click OK. So basically what you did is it made a new layer of just the edge detail. And then if you change this blending mode to soft light, hard light, or vivid light, it will sharpen the image that much more. So vivid is the harshest, hard light is middle, and soft light is the lowest. So if we zoom in, you can see in the grill maybe how that's changed. And so if we change that to vivid light, you can see it gets even crunchier. But it really helps sharpen that image. I think we'll leave that on vivid light for now. So let's save this. So I think we were able to pull a good, good amount of detail out of the wheels. Um, we don't have any weird haloing or anything like that. Um, we didn't introduce a ton of noise. Um, we were able to get a lot of the detail back in the grill. And overall, I think, I think we're okay. I think maybe we pushed the street a little bit too dark, but I mean, not, not bad for what we started with. So hopefully this helped you with your images. If you get stuck in a situation where you can't take an HDR image or you don't have the ability to use flash in a particular situation, just try to get a good middle exposure, um, leaving details still in the shadows and some details in the highlights. And then you can push and pull that raw file either way. I think the most important thing is just to make sure that you shoot in raw. That way you have the most flexibility in post-processing to be able to recover those details. So hopefully this helps. Until next time, take care.